hours 20 it took me to get here tonight, but never mind, it's worth it because it's Blues v Fulham and excitement is rife. I mean, what a great start to the season we've had. Things are looking great, certainly on the pitch. Off the pitch, it's a little bit hit and miss, certainly with all those stands that are still closed. Come on, Blues, you can do better. But however, really looking forward to this game. 2-0 um, win against Derby last time out. We're now playing the tabletoppers Fulham, who are undoubtedly a terrific side with some really, really high quality players. So it will be a stern test for Blues tonight. But Blues putting out uh, an unchanged side from last week. And in fact, it's, it's been the same side for a while, I think, uh, which is fantastic. Dean is on the bench again, which I think is probably the best decision. Um, just to ease him into it gently. Everyone else is as you were. So uh, really, really good that uh, we've still got the same side. Really good that we've got some consistency. We've uh, conceded the fewest goals in, in the league. So uh, it's great. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. But I am predicting a one-all draw. I think uh, Fulham will definitely get a goal against us tonight. But who knows? Uh, and just before we get to the game, if you'd like to like and subscribe uh, to my channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. Drop us a like, give us a subscription. Go on, you only live once. Let's get on with it. It's Blues versus Fulham. from a, a cracking corner, brilliant header by Oleg Mitrovic, and, uh, and then a penalty, which, well, yeah, it was a foul. Uh, but that said, I think we've really matched Fulham. I'm really impressed. Um, we, we've not given up. We've, we've been really creative. We've pushed forward. We've created quite a lot of chances. Uh, some, some really nice work, actually, down both wings. Collan's been excellent, I have to say. Um, but Fulham have got some real talent, some real pace, and they threatened quite a few times uh, to get in behind us, and Pedersen struggled a little bit down the left. Uh, but it, I know it seems bad and it's not great, and it, it could be 6-0 at the end of this, I don't know. But right now, yeah, it's 2-0, it's rubbish, but just seeing Blues playing with much more ability and poise is, is really encouraging to see. This is always going to be one of the hardest games of the season, so, you know, I'm not beyond gutted. But let's see what happens in the second half. Anyway, half-time, we're losing 2-0, but hey, it's just one battle. There's a whole war to be won. That was poetic. Keep right on, everyone. Uh, it finished. 
Blues won Fulham 4 and uh, it's the old cliche that the scoreline doesn't reflect the game and yeah it's crap we conceded 4 goals but uh, Troy Deeney got a penalty at the end but I think Blues played just really well we made some mistakes yeah but we kept the tempo up we kept playing the same the whole way through and nothing really changed and uh, and it, I thought we really matched Fulham yes I know if you watch this and you'll just go no we lost 4-1 you're just trying to cover up uh, a, a crap game but it wasn't I thought we played really well and the lads just kept at it and, and we had quite a lot of chances their goalie made some brilliant saves so yeah we've lost but I'm very encouraged. And Saturday, it's on to Peterborough United. So that could be entertaining. Anyway, that's everything from St Andrews. Enjoy the rest of your week or whatever you're doing. And see you soon. Keep right on, everyone.